Well, what's going on everybody, Wacko Backo here, and today we're finally opening up something I've been trying to get for a long time since it came out. We have two double V boxes here. I actually found these at my local Walmart. Um, I double checked to make sure, um, and as far as I could tell, they don't really look tampered with. It's got all the correct packs in there. Um, so we'll try our luck and hopefully there's no issues here. This one here, that other pack just kind of slid down a little bit. Um, but yeah, we'll try our luck with these. Hopefully we get something good. I've seen a lot of people get some amazing pulls out of these double V boxes. Um, and it's funny because today was the day I was actually going to order some. <laughs> so luckily enough, I found some in stores. But let's start off with some codes here. <clears throat> Sorry if my voice sounds a little bit weird. Uh, it's a little bit colder where I'm at here. Uh, usually it is uh, it's hot, sunny, or it's raining. Uh, so whenever it gets a little bit colder, it throws me off a little bit, but it's all good. Um, I'm not going to complain because I'm originally from up north and uh, yeah, it's, it's much colder up there. So let's crack into these here. Good old champion path. Um, the other exciting thing is I do have both of my uh, binders. I say both because there's more jumbo cards now. So I moved into the second binder. So now I can finally add this double to that binder and then I'll show you guys uh, how that looks at the end. But there we go. Finally got a double V. Uh, this card is also seen in the Japanese Shining Star V set. Um, for those of you that haven't opened it or don't have your hands on it, um, <clears throat> a lot of the English promos are, you know, regular Japanese cards in that set. So it's kind of interesting how they did that. I'll give away the code card for this box at the end, um, just like usual. So let me get this other one prepped and open. Um, so yeah got some really exciting content coming this week um, the bonus videos this week are going to be sponsored so definitely stay tuned for those I'm going to drop those on Thursday for tomorrow and then Saturday um, with normally scheduled video for Friday and Sunday as well so should be another exciting week um, got some stuff coming in but of course uh, the stuff I ordered from the Pokemon Center is delayed I'm not really surprised because they put out an email about it um, but at least I had my orders. Some people's orders got completely canceled, which sucks. Um, so we'll just have to wait for that stuff to come in. And then whenever that stuff comes in, obviously we'll crack it open. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited. Got a lot of stuff going on and it's it's crazy to think we're, uh, we're in the last month of this year. Uh, as, as terrible as this year has been for most people, um, it's almost over. We're, we're almost there. So just got to tough it out a little bit more. Um, yeah, and just, uh, keep your head up. It's always going to get better. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's getting to that time of year where a lot of people start doing all this real deep thinking or, you know, a lot of people get sad because the holidays. Um, but a little bit from Wacko Backo here, um, just try to stay positive the best that you can and know that there are plenty of resources out there. If you need it, um, don't hesitate to reach out. I know there's a lot of phone numbers and stuff like that. Uh, and a lot of people that are pretty much waiting to talk to you. So, yeah, don't hesitate. All right, so you got that out. So check this out, this actually worked out pretty well. So we got eight packs of Champion's Path, and then we got two complete art sets, so that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I thought that was pretty neat, so I'm just gonna open them up just like that, pair all these off. And again, it's only eight packs, so it's a little bit shorter opening, but uh, like I said, we're gonna show off the binder at the end. So here we go. Good old Champion's Path. I do have more of this coming in as well. Um, I'm, I got really helped out from my sponsor. Um, so all I'm gonna say is just stay tuned, get some awesome Champions Path stuff coming. Uh, it should be exciting. I'm hoping to do like a bigger opening of Champions Path, um, but kind of just depends on what I get and when I get it. So just stay tuned, it should be really, really fun. So here we go, four to the front, let's start this off. I know I've been rambling for a minute here, but it's all good. All right, so we have Absol, Pokeball, we have an NK, Zigzagoon, Trubbish, Full Heal, Kaboo is the reverse. So in this set, we can get those, uh, the reverse rare, or I'm sorry, not reverse rares, the reverse hollow energies in this spot. So we'll keep an eye out for that. And Galarian Obstagoon, very nice. Also, uh, this set has a hollow <coughs> in every last spot or higher. Uh, obviously, we're looking for the higher, but I'll take what I can get. Um, it feels like a lot of people fell off a of Champion's Path already because 
either people bought their Charizards or um, they just opened up so much in the very beginning. Uh, I'm so enjoying it. I really, really like it. I'm glad I can find some of it in stores. Same thing with Vivid Voltage. Um, you know, it's it's very hard to come come by, at least around me. But whenever I can find, I try to pick up a little bit here and there. All right, so we have Swablu. We have a Machop, Zigzagoon, Suspicious Food Tin as the reverse. I got a couple gold cards of these, which is always nice to see. And behind that, nice, Alcremi V, very nice. Hadn't pulled this card yet, so it's a, it's a fresh pull for me. So let me get that sleeved up real quick. Very, very nice. Um, good. All right, so we got a, an ultra rare early on. Very, very nice. Hopefully, we can get some of the other cards that I'm missing. Excuse me. And uh, yeah, just get close to completing this set. I think this set and Darkness Ablaze are the two sets I'm the closest to completing. Uh, Rebel Class is shortly behind that. And uh, obviously... Um, my goodness, sorry, I'm trying to blank. Vivid Voltage. Uh, we're still very early on into that set, so won't be completing that anytime soon, but it's all good. There's plenty to open. Um, and I'm still I'm still missing a good chunk of just the regular cards in that set, so uh, it's going to be another fun set to complete, especially getting those amazing rares. All right, so into another pack here. Again, these are the double V boxes. Um, so far, so good. Um, I haven't seen any issues. I uh, don't see any signs of tampering or anything, which is very nice. I know people have those issues a lot. They're local stores, but uh, the only issues I have in mind is just <laughs> people are savages uh, and they'll literally just grab everything. So I got lucky. So hopefully we can get some good pulls here and uh, it'll be well worth getting two of these. I did leave some, there were more, um, but I was keeping my head, you know, I'd hate to be that guy that walks up and see someone that takes all of it. So I'm just kind of paying it forward, I guess. Uh, Absol is the reverse. <laughs> nice, Eldegoss V. Um, I'm not sure if I have this. I know I just pulled this in the Japanese set. Again, this card is also featured in the Shiny Star V. Um, but I'll have to check the binder and see. Actually, no, no, I do have this because uh, the only one I'm missing uh, is Venusaur. So that would be nice to pull as well. But still, it's an ultra rare. I'll gladly take it. And we still have plenty more packs to go. So yeah, we're doing pretty good so far. Uh, normally, when you open up stuff like this, uh, you know, you get more hollows than anything else, but I always heard that these double V boxes were good, and uh, yeah, I think it's I think it's working out for me so far. So here we go, another code for you. All right, let's get four to the front and the flip. All right, here we go. Let's see what we can get in this pack here. So we have Kaboo, we have Lipard, a Vulpix, Rockruff, Purloin, Linoon, we have a Sizzlipede, Arbok as the reverse, and behind that is an Altaria holographic. Very nice. All right. So there's the first four packs. Not too bad. We got two Ultra Rares and two Hollows there. So not, not too bad. I'll take those odds there. We do have four more packs remaining. So cracking into the second box here. Let me give away a couple more codes here. Since I don't have any Champion's Path codes, I thought I'd give away some codes that can give you another Charizard. So best of luck with good old Burning Shadows there. All right, here we go. On to the next. Um, but yeah, like I was saying before, with Champion's Path, I want to try and do a real big opening. Um, especially just, I, I don't know, I think it'd be fun uh, do something around like a booster box level opening, uh, especially because Champion's Path doesn't have that. Um, but like I said, it really just depends on um, what comes in. Uh, hopefully it all comes in at one time. So stay tuned. It should be very, very exciting. Hopefully I can pull the remaining cards that I need from the set. All right, so here we go. Let's see what we can get in this one. Very nice, there we go. Got that reverse hollow uh, psychic energy there. And behind that, nice, <laughs> Alcremi VMAX. Very nice, so we got the pair. I did pull this card before, but it still looks absolutely amazing. Pretty much turns itself into a giant cake, and then it's the topping on top of that. So nice, very nice, all right. Again, we're looking really, really good so far. Um, we did pull at least one card that I didn't have before, so I'll take it. But hopefully we can get some more. Let me sleeve up this energy while I'm looking at it here. Um, yeah, hopefully I can get at least one more card that I'm missing. I don't care which one it is, but it'd be nice to just... I don't know. I always try to think that way when I do an opening. You know, if I can get at least one card that I'm missing from the set and slowly keep chipping it down... 
Um, you know, I feel like I'm making some kind of progress, and that's always good. All right, here we go. Two more packs to go after this one here. I feel like these packs are so easy to open, but um, again, like I said, I don't see any signs of anything being tampered with, so uh, that's that's the good sign, right? There's another code for you. All right, four to the front and the flip. Here we go. All right, so we have a hat trim. We have that Rotom phone. Stop making Rotoms. Um, <laughs> we have Turfield Stadium, Atkins, Kakuna, and Nickit. Oh, speaking about cards being made, uh, if you guys haven't heard, the guy who made a huge stink about uh, Kadabra being in the Pokemon game and the trading card uh, allowed the Pokemon company to pr start printing that card again. So stay tuned for that. I guarantee you we'll see a Kadabra very soon. Um, actually, I'm not going to say guarantee, but I can almost bet at like a 90% certainty that they're going to start pushing Kadabras back in. All right, so here we go. Very nice Marnie holographic. I'll take it. Um, yeah, it's just one of those things that was like, it was a, I don't know, it was a big dispute for the longest time. And it was weird seeing Abras and Alakazams, but no Kadabra. But we're finally getting it back in the set. So I think that's a win for the Pokemon community. And uh, I'm interested to see how they're going to plug it back in. And it'd just be nice to see the artwork again. Man, these, par these packs just fall apart. Just got pieces everywhere here. All right, so... Let me slide off that code card here, flip that over, and there you go. Okay, one more pack to go after this here. Can we pull anything else? I really, really hope so, but if not, uh, I'll gladly take the three Ultra Rares that we got and the Hollow Energy, so not too bad. Okay, we got Swablu, a nice, another Reverse Hollow Energy. It's the Steel one, very, very nice, and behind that, is a Professor's Research Hollow. Very, very nice. Okay, cool. Let me sleeve up that energy real quick. We do have one pack left, and then I'm gonna quickly go through the Jumbo Card Binder so this video doesn't drag on. Um, let me know in the comments for those of you that watch these videos all the time. Um, let me know if these videos are taking too long, if you think they're just fine, if they're too short, which I highly doubt they're too short because um, I was just by myself rambling. But let me know in the comments what you think of the length of the videos. And uh, same thing, like I always say before, the audio and the video quality. Um, it's all stuff I need to know. And I do watch the videos after I record them, but uh, community feedback always helps. So here we go, last pack. Let's see if there's anything else left in these. Uh, and then, like I said, we'll get into that jumbo binder and then I'll send you guys on your way. All right, here we go. Kakuna, Beedrill as the reverse, so no more energies. And behind that, Machamp Hollow. Very, very nice. I like the artwork on that one. And the hollow foil pattern just works really, really well. So not bad. I'll gladly take it. So we got three, three, yeah, I'll say three ultra rares. And then we got two of the hollow energies. So not too bad of an opening. I've had much worse. Uh, so I'll gladly take it. So let me move this stuff off to the side here. Um, yeah, definitely a good opening. Uh, you guys have to let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, let's go through this recap real quick. So again, we got the two reverse hollow energies. Very, very nice there. And then we got our ultra rares. We got Alcremi, Eldegoss, and the Alcremi VMAX. So very, very nice. Uh, for those of you that play the Pokemon TCG, obviously there, there's your pair. You can use one to get into the other. Uh, so yeah, very, very nice. I'm, I'm definitely content with that opening. Uh, I'm looking forward to opening up more Champions Path, of course. Um, but yeah, let's look back at the promos here. Again, here is the double card and the jumbo just for size reference there. Um, let me move those off to the side. And here's the binder. So I actually got these when I was placing orders through GameStop. It was like, you know, spend a certain amount and you got this really cool jumbo card and then these binders. So um, just flip through this real quick. I uh, got the Meowth from the VMAX. A lot of these are just from their uh, respective boxes. Uh, that's usually how you get these. And I'm pretty sure they're going to continue that as well. Um, so there's the spot I've been waiting for for a good old double to go into. So let me put that in there. Um, yes, so now this binder, and again, there's not really many sleeves in these binders, but that's a completed binder there. So there we go. And then the last page is Hatterene. And then starting off the new binder here, I've got that Orbeetle V. So very, very nice. Not too bad there. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it for this opening. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave me some likes and some comments to go through. 
And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, hopefully this is the reason why. Uh, go ahead and slap that sub button. And then, uh, yeah, just let me know what you think. I always appreciate the feedback. And, uh, yeah, just stay tuned. We have more exciting openings coming this week. So that's going to do it for me, guys. I'm Michael Backo. Take it easy.